Yo, Elliot. Got this question here from, I can't even pronounce this shit. He wants to know about the paleo diet. What exactly is it? I, I thought I was doing it right, he says, but apparently I'm not getting enough carbohydrates because in your last video, Elliot, you said paleo is good, but you're gonna need some carbohydrates. Here's the situation, folks. A lot of you guys have accused me of being uh, faddish, right? What is that word that someone used on my Facebook the other day? He said, uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm talking about things that are in vogue, right? Eating paleo and raw milk. Let me explain something to you, all right? My parents grew up in the fucking jungle, right? My dad grew up in Belize. He didn't wear shoes, right? There was no supermarket. He grew up on a damn farm. His dad raised pigs and he climbed trees to get mangoes. That's how my dad ate. He was going to eat, he climbed the tree and got a mango and ate it. And then when his father came home, he'd help his dad kill a pig. And he would put a little knife. His dad knew how to kill pigs so well that people throughout this village in Belize, I think they called it, the name of the village was Stan Creek. I could be wrong. Moscow. All throughout Moscow, they would come and see my father's father because he was the master pig killer. And he would bring that pig and he put a little knife right in his neck, just a little, little ice pick right in his neck, bore a hole, the pig wouldn't squeal because if the pig squealed, you fucked up the process. The meat's not gonna be that good. You gotta kill him in such a way that you just bore a hole and then my dad would grab a bucket and fill that bucket up with the blood. <laughs> fill it up with the blood as the pig just grew tired, sleepy, boom, and fell without a sound. Then my dad would take that bucket of blood inside to, his grand, to my grandmother, his mother. She would boil it while my grandfather cut the pig open, took out the intestines, cleaned it, cleaned the intestines, gave it to my grandmother and she would fry the intestines in the blood of the pig. Along with that, they might have some corn with their dinner. So when my dad came to this country from the jungle, and I started telling him, Daddy, I'm gonna teach people how to get strong and healthy. And I'm gonna show them how to eat properly. And I told him about paleo diets. I told him about organic food. Cause I've been doing this shit for a long fucking time. I've been doing this way longer than any paleo book was written, right? I told my dad, I'm gonna start telling people how to eat organic food. And he was like, what is that? I started to explain to him how the food was natural. And he looked at me and he said, I thought that was just food. I thought that was just the way it was. You see, the, he didn't need a special label for the diet. He didn't need a special term for the food that was raised the way that he remembers it being raised in a country that is backwards, right? That word backwards, who's fucking backwards, right? It was just the way it is. Now we've got professors and experts and PhDs that give us special terms, organic and paleo, for what humans fucking do by nature. It's just the way it is, folks. My dad grew up in a jungle and that's how jungle people did it. So when you ask me this question about paleo eating and am I following the rules right, I get a little indignant, a little irritated, right? I get irritated with you guys who think that I'm being fashionable by talking about this shit. Meanwhile, my dad grew up with no shoes, eating pig guts, right? In my definition, Elliot Hulse's definition, right? Because there are gonna be people who wanna challenge this. Challenge it all the fuck you want. This is what I'm saying. Paleo eating, if you wanna call it that, because my daddy just calls it eating. Paleo eating is eating shit that was here 10,000 10, years ago in the way that it was brought to us 10,000 years ago, which is from the land, right? No processing. It's eating pigs that were just killed on the farm, right? It's eating stuff that you grew in your backyard. Now we live in a day and time where we're so attached to the grid 
We're so attached to supermarkets that we don't even know where our food comes from. My daddy watched pigs die. My daddy would go to his backyard, grab chickens by the neck and wring them. Bring them in for his mother to pluck. They were one with the land. They were one with the mortality associated with what nourishes the body. That's why native cultures worshiped animals. And we think it's silly because we don't see them die when we put them into our bodies. There are different cultures that even worship the plants. Some of you vegetarians out there, right? They gave thanks to the earth for bringing forth this food. We go to the fucking supermarket. So when you ask me, what do I do? My answer is balance your macronutrients however the fuck you want to based on the strength or the size you want to build. You want to lose weight? Cut the macronutrients, cut the calories. You want to build? Increase. Right? But eat pure foods, natural foods, organic foods, paleo foods, foods that were here when Paleolithic man was here. I don't think anybody knows what the fuck Paleolithic man ate. They studied bones and shit, but nobody knows. Nobody knows anything. They've got ideas. So call it whatever you want. I call it just eating. Eat natural. Eat like my dad ate. And you will be healthy and you will be fine. Yo, Elliot.